Hey guys, it's Ryan Share here with a quick video demonstration of how to download skins for Dex3 and extract them to the proper skins folder so they will be made available through the options menu in Dex3 so you can select the user interface you want to use. So first off, what you're going to want to do is find the skin you want to use. So you're going to launch your web browser and you're going to go to pcdj.com. And when the site loads, just use the search tool located in the top right corner of the website, right next to blog. The search tool is just a little magnifying glass. When you click it, you'll get your search box. Type in the search box, Dex3 Skin, and hit enter. Just hit enter. In your results here, you're going to see various results. Almost all of these are going to be for skins that we've uploaded to the blog, all of which have been user submissions so far, although we do allow Dex3 users to download and use the Red Mobile 3 skin for Dex3. So on this page, you know, you click on one of these subsequent results, and we're going to see one of the skins. New Dex3 skin available. So I'll just show you another one. Go down here. I'll just do this. So once you've found the skin you want to use with Dex3, at the bottom of any of these blog posts, you're going to find a download Dex3 DJ controller skin. Click the button. It's going to download instantly. Sometimes, depending on your browser, uh, you may have an option to run or save or save as. Bottom line, you just want to know where you're saving the file to so then you can access the file and open it. All of our skins are delivered in zip files, so it's simply as easy as opening the zip and viewing the contents. So here, I'm just going to select all the files you see in the, in the zip file. So once again, I'm just going to highlight the top track or top file, go to the bottom file, hold down shift and click it. So everything's highlighted in between. So now you can do a couple things. From here, I can just right click and copy. That's one way to do it. I can choose to extract all and choose the location. For this purpose of this video, I'm just going to right click. I'm going to say copy. Now, where, where Dex3 stores its user skins, where you want to drop any skin files that you download from PCDJ.com, is in Documents uh, or Docs on a Mac. Uh, since this is a Windows 8.1 machine, it's going to be in Documents. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to copy. We're going to go to Documents. We're going to go to the folder labeled PCDJ Dex3. And we're going to open it once again. So you see the path here. I'm on this PC or my computer. Uh, documents PCDJ Dex3. So inside this folder, you're going to see a few other folders. The only one you want to be concerned with for skins is the folder labeled skins, this directory right here. Open it up. Since I've installed tons of skins, these may already be in here, but once you're in the folder, you can just right click or do a control V, but you can just right click and say paste. Of course, I already have these files in here. I'm just gonna replace them all. That won't happen for you. If you haven't downloaded a skin yet, you right click and paste, it's just gonna go right in there. All right, so now that you've got your skin and it's located in the proper Dex3 skins folder, to access the skins, you simply launch Dex3. And once it's open, click Options in the top right, the Options menu. And right here under the General tab, the very first option you have from, is a drop-down menu for Select User Interface Skin. From the drop-down menu, I'm going to select the one I just extracted to my Skins folder, which is the Controller Friendly Skin. That's the name of it, created by Emiliano DJ Vargas. So we're going to click that skin, and boom, that's all there is to it. It'll swap out the skin for the one you just downloaded, and you're ready to start mixing. So that's all there is to it. And, uh, you know, anytime we get a skin submission from a user, we post the uh, the Dex, or the, rather the, the PCDJ website under our blog. So just keep checking back and use that 
uh, search tip earlier in this video to find the new skins as they're posted. If you're a graphic designer or have some graphical skills and you want to take a stab at creating skins yourself, just do a search on the website for skin designer. We have a free piece of software you can download that helps you easily create and map your own skins. Uh, and the flexibility of creating skins is pretty vast. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. Uh, get very creative. Location of all buttons, even the library, can be rearranged to your liking. Hope that helps. If you have any questions about creating skins, or rather downloading and installing skins and using them, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.